Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do another tutorial in Blender. How to do stylized anime grass and geometry nodes. We're gonna do really simple kind of like a signboard posting, whatever it's called. So we basically are gonna make a texture that kind of looks like this then post it across a field and geometry nodes, use the normals to change the color data and non NPR material shading to make sure we get like the lighting effects to work. Let's jump right into it. I guess we can keep the cube, but let's first add the material we care about. We go to an image mesh plane. That's what we want. And I made a texture, I think called like grass, grass card. There we go, nice. And if we check it in shading view, oh nice, it's all hooked up like perfectly. That's so nice. So if you look at this, we go to the shading to make sure we do it correctly. So I pulled it in as the image plane, which is good. But basically the important thing is making sure you rent, make a, a PNG file and you have it make sure that the alpha goes to the alpha and the base color goes to the base color. And then you should be good to go. And then if you are not seeing it like clip through and be transparent, then you might need to go into your material properties, which I think is here. And then you need to go to rendered mode, ray trace, transmission. That way it will go through. Uh, whenever I'm doing clear or transparent materials, I keep on forgetting to do that. And I keep on getting like really bad results. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? So anyways, now you know. This is what we're going to scatter across a large field. So then what we're going to do for the field is make a new plane, mesh plane. Great. Center the camera. And then let's just scale it up by like three. And let's do scale apply the scale and we can just do geometry nodes new distribute points on faces nice and then we can say uh join geometry to pull in that plane data as well and then we're going to pull in this grass card which is spelled wrong because you can never type anything correctly there we go nice and so then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and then do instance on points. And we're going to pull this card. There we go. Whoops. Here. Tab A to grab everything. Let's just make sure this is centered. Grab Z and pull this up. That's good. Whoops. No, it's not. A. I guess what we should just do is grab the, the bottom face right here or the bottom. Um, side, shift S, cursor to selected, tab out, right click, set origin to 3D cursor. There we go. Now it's exactly where we want it. Uh, and then we can do shift S, cursor to hold origin, which is good. Tab back out, I think we're good to go. And then we need to take the normal data of this. Which I think we actually want right, I always forget to. Let's find out. So align rotation to vector. This is gonna go here. We actually have it right here. Here is the, the normal data we wanna care about. It should be, there we go, Y. I think X also works. Nope, Y, nice. So now we have all of this going through and we can maybe change just some settings here. We have the base color, color ramp, put this one in here. And we could just make this a green to start off. Why not? And we're like halfway done. Like, wow, we did it. It's done. Hooray. No, but the, the main thing we got to work with is the uh, randomization with scale and stuff like that. So we'll do that in the next couple spots. So we're going to say uh, scale instances. That's what we want. Okay, then random value. We can pop this in here. And let's go from like 0.2 to one. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, it's looking okay. And then we can then do the rotation. So uh, in rotate instances, so the same thing. And we're gonna do from minus pi to pi. Actually want a vector here. And we'll leave this the z zero. So we'll say, whoops, minus pi, and we'll say pi, and pop that in. And it's not working how I expected. Let's go zero it out. Nope. 
it's just this one. So we'll do minus pi to pi. And then I think actually a tiny bit of like other lateral rotation will look nice. So maybe, ooh, yeah, this one will be nice. Let's do like minus pi divided by 10 and pi divided by 10. So now it's just kind of going a little bit back and forth. Is it too much? Maybe. It could be too much. I think it is too much. So let's do divided by 5, divided by 5. And now it's just a tiny, tiny bit. And now we need to kind of push the normal data through and make sure that that's captured so we can have that data also going through to the actual texture. Store named attribute. Store named attribute. We'll call this a vector. And it's gonna go, I think it's like this, and like this, and like this. It's still flowing through, which is good. We're gonna say uh, grass norm. And because you guys are watching, I'm gonna have clean variables. When I was doing this myself, I kind of just didn't care at all. Uh, attribute grass norm. Now let's see, is the color data working? No, object instancer. Is this working at all? Hello? Oh wait, the normal's all the same. <laughs> okay, uh, this is all the same in normal because it's gonna be, this plane is not been subdivided. So let's uh, uh, tab in, right click, subdivide, subdivide. And then let's go to one and let's do grab Z, pull this up a little bit. There we go. Tab and control two to get a subserve. Okay, now we should be getting different values if we did this correctly. Nope. So then let's go back to geo nodes and let's figure out where we're going wrong here. Maybe this works now. Let's do point object instancer. That's good to know. So I just double checked for you guys. So it can work either here or here. So then mute this one. Unmute here, it works. It's a face. It's the same thing. And then if we mute here, it also works. I think just in, for clean use of nodes, I would put it after the distribute points on faces. It makes more sense logically too. So cool. Now we're getting the normal data piped through onto the cards as it's being de uh, like deformed around the mesh, which is good. Because that means we go back into the shading tab. We look at this. So now we're seeing these colors essentially. And then what if, if we go here and take this normal data and pipe it here, it will then change the colors of the green. So now the normal data is being moved in through. So these cards all have unique normals depending on the position of the mesh. So if we look at the layout again, and we really just mess it up. Let's actually increase the density a little bit. 30, a bit, a bit better. Let's maybe make it bigger. Let's crash my computer, not 500. Let's do 50. And okay. So now we're looking at the grass here, right? tab in, let's grab some other points, or maybe we can even A to grab everything, right click, subdivide one more time, grab down, and let's do uh, proportional editing. So we'll do O, or we can just click the button up top and choose different fall offs. Let's choose smooth, that's fine. Let's grab, mouse reel to scroll that. Great, this looks terrible, which is great. This is the view we're getting of the grass right now, right? So if we go like this, go into shading, grass card. If we cut this, it should change the colors. Nice. So you see how it looks more 3D and kind of more layered and textured when you add the normal data in? It's changing how the light is impacting the mesh itself. So that's how we're getting that kind of beautiful kind of like culling effect. So essentially here, we're basically done. So we've gotten the normal data coming in from the GeoNode mesh that we're scattering the cards on, uh, which I need to click back in and go into GeoNodes, nice. Uh, and then also what we're able to do is we're able to pipe that, that color data, like we're able to change the color data based off of uh, the normal 
kind of information of where it is on the planet or instancing itself. Now the last thing I want to do is just kind of do a basic wind effect. Before we randomize the rotation, what we can do, I think, is this. Beforehand of the chain. Yes. And this is the magic of nodes, BB. Look at that. Okay, cool. So we still have the, the randomization up here, but before we do the, the randomization, kind of ruining all the orientation, they're all aligned in one way. So this makes it very easy to do fake wind. So now all we gotta do is put in a noise texture to kind of make this go across over time. So let's do a wave texture. I guess this can go into a noise texture. And then let's make it low, like one, and like two. Now let's do a uh, separate XYZ. So we get just, no, my bad, combine XYZ. All we were gonna care about probably is let's say the Z axis. Yeah, that's all we want. So we're gonna pipe this right into here. And let's see how this works. So if you have the phase offset right here, wow, that's going very fast. Uh, if we do, I think a math value here, and let's just divide this, divide by like 20, and maybe it's at a value. Let's try this. Nice. And I think if we lower this to like 0.5, it should be more of just the wave texture. Nice, now it's kind of just going back and forth in the wind. So essentially, this is the effect. Uh, you can make your scene and kind of do whatever you want, but this is a quick way to do anime graph. Hope you guys learned something, hope you liked it. Augury.